carrier are you on? It's Dennis. Dennis, Dennis? Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're building a new module, so they're going to have some more stuff in it pretty soon, but for right now it's like... It's just this, but they're going to throw in the Lincoln and the Truman and a bunch of stuff. Play as a, play as a TIE fighter or an X-Wing. Oh, I'd love to. There's actually a mod for that. Or, uh, the F-35B. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Hey, which one does the Navy still use? Uh, F-35C, actually. Well, we don't use the F-14, so your argument's invalid. Oh, okay. So it's treason, then. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, we're good. We're gonna restart from here, okay? Um, everyone reaches and kills everyone. Yeah, if only. Uh, okay, guys, welcome. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm uh, Spaceman, and with us today is Airboats from the USS Bainbridge, who has been with. I the see. Team. I see. I see a frigate in the background. That is correct. Uh, this game kind of takes there's place. There's a cruiser. Yeah, and there's an LHA. What is your What is your plane doing? I'm taxi. Oh. Yeah. That was the weirdest taxi I've ever seen. I well, the parking position is really just awful. I'm gonna I'm you're gonna do your job. Here. Give me a signal cut. Oh. I can't hear you. <laughs> I hear nothing. Oh this is this is awful. Okay, there we go. Now I can hear you again. I'll, I'll message you when, when it's over. This is all awful. Okay, we're good. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're hooked up with the capital. You know there's like 800 steps before we get to that point, right? You sh definitely should know this. All I know is that the deck guys just make sure the crab's hooked up and they wait. You're the worst crew chief ever. Okay, infield 1-1 one, one, right for You lunch. know what? You know what? It'd be a shame. It'd be a shame if all your planes were down for maintenance. <laughs> It'd be a fucking shame. <laughs> so Imagine every single plane in the squadron was just down and no one could fly. That's a terrible threat. Okay, we get, we got a launch. Uh, Guardian one one ready for launch. Launch. Roger that. And that was beautiful oh, right there. I, I Serious lag. Hey, smack into that frigate. Just, just kamikaze. That I'd love to, but the paperwork would just be. Fight's coming our way. Oh, hey. I will, I will do the paperwork for you. Just, I want to see it happen. Roger. Crap. You can't even set. I don't think they'd be able to set GQ because they're so small. Like you know, one plane hits them, and then they just die. That's what happened with the Stark, I think. Um, like a single missile hit it and the whole thing was basically incapacitated. Yeah, I mean they said GQ and they like stopped the ship from sinking, but it was trash. I'm gonna go to weapons hold now. Shoot. Weapons hold? Nah, nah, you fly around weapons free. Anything come, anything comes through, you just bang the locker room and <laughs> boom, right there in the face. <laughs> Roger that. Fox one, Fox one. We'll go. Friendly Tomcat, seven o'clock, five miles. So friendly is seven o'clock. I'm very confused right now because I got. I thought he sighted a bandit, but. Where's that F6F Hellcat? Come on. Hellcat, you honestly want to fly Hellcats in the battle space? Unable, man! Century Series Fighters, A Series? Yes, yes, I do. Oh, 
We need biplanes and triplanes up in the I think we can do that, actually. I know there's not carrier, uh, biplane. Oh, nails, nine o'clock. Wait, so the fairy swordfish isn't in this game? Hold on. Hold on, I'm getting a... I have two radar spikes right now. Sound effects? Did I just hear sound effects from the Game Boy game Top Gun? Or F-18 Thunderstrike? Did I hear sound effects from that? That's a legitimate sound, actually, for the RWR. Hold on. It sounded like a 1980s video game. Feels like a 1980s video game. Dude, can you see the RWR in the bottom right? Unable. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, you see us just kind of like bouncing back and forth, like a terrible SNES game. Yep. Not able. Hey, sometimes you just got a friendly fire to get the message across. I uh, feel like my wingman might disagree with that statement. Actually, I don't know where my wingman is. Oh. He said rejoin. I'm assuming he was information at some point. Chuckles, I'm in danger. <laughs> Something is horribly wrong right now. Cannot comply. Uh, you're gonna die. This dude's giving me <laughs> Cannot comply. It's like he thinks I'm gonna accept that for an answer. He said cannot oh, comply. He's nails the bogey. 11 o'clock. And he uh, best X to um, switch teams. Nail 12 o'clock. Can't do that. No can do. He hit that pause chain team button. You're gonna die. Ah, uh, neighbor. I need a radar lock, but Jester is being absolutely unhelpful right now. Because I can see I've got two MIGs that are locking me. And I can't lock uh, them that's back. That's because I was inverted. <laughs> because I was inverted. Best excuse for anything ever. No can do, boss. Sorry, I can't hear you over the chat noise. There's a meme for that. Yes, it's jet noise. Got it. Now, I... In my experience, I have yet uh, to do anything with jets. But I have landed Milos on the uh, back of Flight 2 Alpha Early Bird Class Destroyer. I... That black almost got my head cut off. I cannot do helos for the life of me. Can't do that, sir. Helos are whack. We were going through a storm and we had to land a helo before we could secure it to the deck so that way we could transport it safely. Yikes. And the pilot got out and immediately puked. It was funny as shit. <laughs> I can't say I blame him. Those, like, the pitch and deck in it, man. Wait, it was bad. We were hitting, like... We were... We hit one swell. We hit one swell. Then our props came out of the water. The whole ship fucking shook and shit was flat. Yikes. The Atlantic is a rough place. I don't doubt it. This is, um. Simulators in the Black Sea right now, actually. Which is. Hey, you still in the Essex? No, I'm in Preble now, actually. You're in Preble now? Yeah. It's actually not that bad. Chief's cool. Hey, I got a radar lock on this ship. Say again? Is it cheap? Uh, no. I got a radar lock on this ship, but I've got no visual, and I'm like 90% sure that's the MIG. So. What do you say? Weapons free? Uh, if it flies, it dies. Roger that. Target, 76 miles. Good try to get some altitude on this guy, so I uh, fire the Phoenix. It's going in at downward angle. I think I've got another contact off to my starboard. Which makes me a little bit nervous because I'm, uh, I don't have a good angle on him. Yeah, well, 
you made your wingman being useless. He absolutely it. Well, at least I know where he is now. He's off to my right wing. Okay. Hashtag not my wingman. Target, 64 miles. I need that to be a thing. I need that on like a t-shirt or something. Or a mug. Hashtag not my wingman. Yeah. Hell, I'd buy that. That's a t-shirt I can get behind. Like my Virginity Rocks t-shirt. <laughs> I forgot you owned that. In big bold letters, Virginity Rocks. Okay, here we go. Target, 52 miles. So, uh, We've got nails on our 12. And the uh, nails, 11 o'clock. I'm about to just let one off on this guy, see how he reacts to it. Roger, splash the bogey. Oh, f it, I'm just. Okay, Fox 3. Cause an international incident, like we did. I almost don't want to ask, but I kind of do. Target, 42 miles. We uh, flipped off the Navy of a certain other country, but we were in the Gulf of Oman. I think I know which one. Which one? Uh, the big one that's directly north of Bahrain. Nope, we flipped off the British. <laughs> Caused an international incident. Almost got our triad fired. Oh, that's too good. Target, 31 miles. We were doing an underway replenishment with the, uh, I don't know if it's HMS or what, but it was the, uh, it's the Wave Knight. I think it's HMS, yeah. Yeah, and we just, like, we just flipped them off and went on about our business and then like the captain comes over to 1MC and is like, hey, whoever fucking flipped off the wave night, turn yourselves in and no one's going to work. It's funny though. Totally worth it. Okay, now they're locking me. It, roll, roll, roll. Okay, it's flesh the mech. There's another guy. He's off to my left there. Let's do this. It's a missile! Oh! Congratulations! I lost the lock. Just started World War III. Splash! Oh! Splash the second dude. And yeah, I see him breaking up. And that's the last radar contact, so. That's that's pretty cool, actually. It almost never goes that way. Didn't even have to use the sparrows. Okay, okay. Um, let me see if I can get my radio to actually do work today. I went to the danger zone. That's such an icon. We're fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, believe me, my eardrums are already bursting right now. I think you're good to tell you the truth. Okay. I've actually never tested this audio set before, and I'm gonna be furious if it doesn't work. Do an inverted dive. Inverted dive, okay. Whee! Oh, I gotta watch the G forces. I'm about to. She's about to break up. Mm, okay, hold on. <laughs> there are things I just should not do with the Tomcat just because it's such a a large aircraft that I do anyway, and I would pay for it. Do backflip. Do a flip. Do a backflip. 
Cool, a weapon safe, uh, returning carrier. Hold on, let me get rid of my wingman who's done nothing. No, no. Like RDB. No, if you're going back to the carrier, pull on that weapon time. <laughs> yeah, because that definitely won't get me painted by a radar. Get the fucking. Give the AO something to do. Isn't that like a radiation hazard? Like, I'm like... I'm sorry, not radiation a, hazard. Yeah, because the how the flight deck gets. We can set off something. Yeah. I remember something in A's book, because like, specific types of radiations are going to set off ammunition. And the kind you get from the flight deck is one of them. Yeah. Because that bitch hot. Oh, did I tell you that when I went out to the Bainbridge on deployment that I, uh, I went to the Lincoln first? Nice. That was cool. I got to spend the night on the U.S. Abraham Lincoln. The, the Lincoln's one of the carriers that they're, uh, adding in, actually. Is the Enterprise one of them? They are not adding in the Enterprise, which is f***ing me off. Do you hear we're getting a new Enterprise soon? Yeah! Ford class, which is just like, oh man, I'm excited. And they actually fixed the Ford. It's not stupid anymore. It's not? I didn't hear that. Yeah, they fixed it. Didn't it break one of its propeller shafts with it? Uh, no, I'm thinking of Antietam. What did Ford break? Nah, the, uh, the electromagnetic catapult ran the reactors. Of course it did. So did they swap it did out with the conventional, it? or did they just rework it? They reworked it. That's the Navy attitude. Something doesn't work, just keep trying. Yep. And no more PRT. Oh. For this cycle, anyway. They canceled PRTs, they canceled FEP, they relaxed the uh, haircut re uh, regulations. They canceled these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling that one. That's the big sad. I'm thinking we should be coming up on the carrier. You're four miles in the wrong direction. <laughs> I feel like you're right, actually, because I'm checking my steer point and it's just not lining up with what I think is. Also, OC spray is not the move, ladies and gentlemen. OC spray is, is not fun. It sucks. <laughs> By the I way, how shot in the foot. How was that by the way? Absolute <laughs> Uh for those of you who don't know what OC spray is, it's basically like pepper spray, but much, much worse. On crack, steroids, meth, you know, fat salts. All the whack shit that the police are scared of. Okay, uh, I got contact status so I'm not even bad. Marshall one zero. Marky Moms 008422, Angels 10.2, Holding Hands with 11, Low State 13.2. I hate that voice because I don't get to say it. And that's like a fun thing to read off. Enfield 11, fly heading 197, Fort 12, QFE 29, decimal 93, runway 18, to pattern altitude. Fly space shuttle. Dear carrier landing on a space shuttle. I want to be your door gunner. <laughs> Dude, I was looking at an article the other day. It's like the Soviets tested out a machine gun in space, which... Of course the fucking Soviets did. It's the goddamn Soviets. That's... Just the idea of like a space shuttle door gunner, it's not practical. There's no situation it's, where you would need it, but it's so awesome. I... Like, wait... No one asked for it, but we all want it for some reason. Of course we all want it. It's a special door gun. Yeah. There it is. There's the hey, house. Hey, what is the uh, frog foot? What's the, what's the name of the frog foot? Uh, uh SC-25, I think. That's what you need to fly. That's 
We started uh, Baldy out on the frog foot, actually. I Just think I was still out there. I think I was there for that. Yeah. I remember we had to uh, invent a hand signal for him. Isn't it just the middle finger? No, it no. was the, the shaky palm, remember? Oh, yeah, the, the smack your chest with the left palm. <laughs> oh. Integer, new pilot, Integer. Good times, good times. I'm gonna see if I can line this up without going through like a whole case one thing. New pilot hurt the nerve. Remember all the stupid nerf wars you used to have? Yeah, those were fun. This was fun. Wait, am I lining up with Stennis or am I landing up with the LHA? I don't know and that makes me nervous. Wait. LHAs don't have a resting cat. They don't have a, a resting cat. They one don't, zero. which is why I can't go on. And I'm too fast regardless, one, one, so I'm good. Just, one, three, uh, three, one, three, I gotta do a full case one. Try it anyway. Yeah, I gotta do a full case. Yeah, uh, it was the LHJ, but the smoke was making it look bigger. Try it, try it anyway. One zero. Power, Roger. Uh, I got to do uh, 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 a uh, uh, procedure. One zero. I got the witness of FA eighteen. Pilot loses wings. Say again. I got the witness of FA eighteen. Pilot loses wings. What did he do? He buzzed our pilot. Lock, lock. He buzzed our. He buzzed your what? He buzzed the pilot house on our ship. Oh no! While going, like he boom, Brady's passing the Brady's is passing the pilot house. So did his triad? Like four windows. Did his triad ride him up, or was that your guys? Oh, uh, we called over to his triad, and they were like, "Hey, he just busted out." Or uh, they had the lookouts uh, get the tail, get the numbers of the plane and shit. Yes, yeah, kind of an obvious thing. Right? Yeah, and then like we called back over to them. And they're like, "Hey, yeah, he just busted out four of our <laughs> windows." And they're like, "Roger, he's losing his wings." I bet you he was pulling some mocks too. And you know, I'm just, just happy little me on the fucking helm, just enjoying my day. Then all of a sudden, whoa! Like, I have no idea can... how close I have no idea how close he had to have been, but I probably didn't want to be outside okay. to test it. He was either really close or he was um right that, we'll go. going really fast. Yeah. Cause it takes a Tomcat flying Mach 2, I think, to bust out a window. Okay, okay. So I gotta make this landing, I'm too far left. Uh, sorry, I'm not there to give hand signals. Uh, you're good. 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 This is like a wave off right now. It's a wave off. I'm still going for it. Yeah. Screw you, LSO. Red deck. Red deck. We got hit. White guys run. That was a hell of a landing. Bolter, bolter, let's go. I did not bolter. If I boltered, we wouldn't be stopped on the deck right now. You literally pissed off everyone on the flight deck all at once. Oh, I bet. <laughs> you literally just pissed off everybody. I pissed myself off. That landing was awful. Do you see how hard I came down? I hope you roll off the end of the deck and into the water. Ouch. I'm gonna Sorry, sit here. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here on my elevator, fold my wings, and call it a day. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't care if you broke your elbow. <laughs> okay, cutting the uh, fuel source.
Hop in the can, baby. Mechanics to, meanwhile, pilots to mechanics. Look, petty officer. I don't care if I break the hydraulic wheel. Oh, shit! I forgot the brakes! If I was the crew chief and I had my truck and train guys down there, if you didn't secure the brakes, I'd be dragging you out of the cockpit right now and beat the deck. I swear I'm not usually this awful at the procedures. I swear to God, you kill my truck and chain guys and kill you. <laughs> oh, that was. That's just fine. Okay, I want to watch. Um... If you run over Airman Timmy, I'm killing you. Airman Don't Timmy Airman should Timmy. not have been standing that close to the jet turbines. Yeah, I'm, I, I got the LSO camera off. I can see one too. Which, by the way, just check the detail on this thing. Look at that little radar. It's just heading away. I love that aircraft library. With everything in the world to watch. Barely hear you. There's only one thing that I hated more than anything else. This happened to be the land has to be a reference point for aircraft doing night landing. That was what? Yeah. All night long. Just I'm like, these fucking pilots need to go to bed. I just got watch two in the morning. I just hate night landings in general because you got that small space to begin with and then also like only the lights that you absolutely need. You also have the running lights in the square behind you, like 200 yards behind you. Well that's the thing, the running yeah, lights aren't modeled. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. You see, that's what a landing should look like. You know what? I don't want to hear it from you. You try landing the two million dollar piece of equipment. Uh, I've got one point eight million dollars in so I'm here. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the two thousand pounds of awesomeness. <laughs> oh, he got a four wire. I can't hear you over aircraft down to maintenance. Entire flight deck crew goes up for gun decking. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry you have no air crew to fix your plane. Can you just imagine the CMC losing? Everyone doing maintenance without an MRC? It, well, that's just the Navy right there. Yeah. This is a cool Alright, man, I'm gonna hop off here. Yeah, we gotta tune out the same way. Hey, have a good one, man. Thank you for joining you, us. Yep. Uh, got anything you want to say to the lovely people back at home? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Worth the wisdom. Bye. Have a good one. Wow, now that one was one for the history books. Special thanks again to Airboats for helping us out with that one. Really gave us a fun time in the cockpit. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the post-match report. Unlike last time, the only squadron in the air today was VFA 634. However, much like last time, we still got two kills on the aggressors while taking zero casualties. However, there was much more of a risk this time. As you saw, we were dogfighting against MiG 29s. You could really call it dogfight. It was more of a BVR encounter. Still, though, the threat was pretty real. One more time, I'd like to give a special thanks to Airboats for coming and helping us out today. Really had a great time and. This is much closer to the content that we'd like to be delivering to you guys. So if you like what we do here, I encourage you to give us a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. And hey, check out some more videos. All right, that's all for me. Have a great time.